All right, guys. Riding along here and have some thoughts, and I just want to share them with you. Um, let's talk about what makes a woman sexy. What makes a woman sexy? Have you ever thought about that? Um, so we're going to talk about it for just a minute. All right, here we go. is what makes a woman sexy and I think the first place to start is what makes a woman useful now the world's definition of sexy is rather different than what the scriptural definition of sexy would be and the two would agree in a few places but I don't know that they agree very much and so we need to talk about this for just a second the world's use for a woman, typically, is as a piece of meat um, to be uh, used, abused, and tossed out. Or when the value's been sucked out of it, or the life's been sucked out of out of her, uh, just to throw her away. She's uh, she's useful as a receptacle, if you understand what I mean. Um, and so her sexiness is then wrapped up in or bound up in uh, her size. Whatever, whatever happens to be the proclivity of the man that uh, um, is taking, seeking to take advantage of her. So the world's opinion of sexiness is all wrapped up in outward appearance, that which goes away pretty quickly. In fact, a woman's uh, highest value in terms of sexual appeal or SMV sexual market value is gone by the time she's 25, 28, maybe 30 years of age. She's already past her peak in terms of just straight outward appearance. But what does scripture say in terms of the value of a woman and what makes her sexy? Now obviously the word sexy doesn't appear in scripture, although if you were to uh, take uh, get get a glass of wine and uh, a lady and read the Song of Solomon with a little candlelight and some rose petals. You might find out the scripture has a lot to say about sexiness. Uh, <laughs> but um, there are other places in scripture that also talk about a woman and her appeal. Let me tell you that for most men, a godly man. Um, his usefulness for a woman is not as a piece of meat, but rather as a means of building his house. And what a man needs a woman or women for to build his house are several. Uh, primarily, obviously, be fruitful and multiply. And so a part of her sexiness is wrapped up in her ability and uh and her um, preparedness to bear children, his seed, perpetuate his lineage, right? Children belong to the man. We've talked about this before. But also, the woman's sexiness is wrapped up in, as well, how she's going to go about helping him build his house. Building his house is going to include following him doing as he asks, seeking after his goals and his plans and his ambitions and doing what she can for the purpose of making him uh, making him into what the father has called him to be. So that means that the woman then should be all about submission, submissiveness, and answering and doing and, and being what he asks her to be. There's a huge amount of sexiness for a man who understands the purpose of a woman and why he has her in his family, why he has her in her house, his house. It's not just for, uh, for her as a receptacle or as a means of satisfying his needs. What it really is is about him having her to help him 
accomplish the mission God has given him. And that includes all kinds of things uh, besides bearing children. It includes getting the work done, building the property or building the business or building um, building the financial assets and wherewithal that will sustain that family going forward. So a woman brings value into the family by her work ethic, and that is sexy. Um, her submission and willingness to follow is sexy. And I will tell you too that I believe that um, for me, I value the, the opinion of any woman in my household. I, I desire to know what their thoughts and understandings and um, insight is into, mar uh, into matters that I'm, that I'm seeking after. However, at the point that I make a decision, it's sexy when she says, yes, sir. And she says, you know, we're going to do exactly what you say to do. And now we follow opposed to trying to manipulate, cajole, control, or in any way um, turn the man one way or another contrary to what uh, his strong understanding and well-studied opinion is. So the woman's sexy when she has a meek and quiet spirit and when she's doing what she's asked to, uh, asked to do. Um, that makes the woman sexy. Now, the world will tell you that as they get older, not so sexy, right? Because again, looking at outward appearance, uh, a man who understands the value of his woman will find that she gets sexier as she gets older if she continues walking in submission and helping him build his house. She becomes increasingly valuable to him as part of his um, his mission and accomplishing his mission, whatever that may be. If we look at uh, Proverbs chapter 31, you look at the Proverbs chapter 31 woman, particularly beginning in verse 10 and following. Now there are warnings against women in the first part of that chapter and multiple other places in Proverbs. But the latter part of that chapter you can see her sexiness, her desirability, because she's valuable to the man. He's in the city gates conducting business. She's out handling property. She's taking care of the maids. She's uh, ensuring that the house is fed. She's doing all these other things, dealing with the merchants, etc. That makes her very valuable. And to any man who knows what it is to build his house, man, that's hot. That is hot is a woman who is investing herself in him and investing herself in his vision. Now, I will say that there is a component whereby all men desire a woman or women around them that that are attractive. Now, that doesn't mean you've got to be a 10, doesn't mean you've got to be some kind of uh, some kind of perfect worldly looking figure that uh, that has all the right lines. No. I I'd say Curves are good, but they've got to be in control and under the under the authority, if you will, of the man. If he says that you need to work out a little bit or if he says that you need to stay within uh, a certain parameter because that's what he finds most appealing, probably a good idea to do that, okay? Because that's what he desires for his house. And I know in the case of, um, of my woman, I appreciate the fact that she works out and stays physically fit, okay? Not a requirement that I set on her because uh, just her basic body type, uh, it's not something that is a concern. But there are, there are many women that, uh, that let, themselves go, uh, let themselves go to pot. They turn into a big old round bag of stuff when, uh, when they get married or sometime after that because... They, they think they don't have to worry about it or that, that it's no longer something that they have to do or need, need to be responsible for. But that's not true at all. A woman needs to take care of herself according to whatever the desires of her husband are. Something else that makes a woman sexy is a woman who desires, she wants. And I'm talking crave her man. Uh, it is sexy to have a woman, she might be a good five or six, but I'm telling you, 
When she's carrying some of these sexy traits, it adds two points or three points to the scale. If you've got a woman, uh, you know, if a man has a woman that wants him, that pursues him, that seeks to please him and take care of his needs uh, or take care of his desires even, there's a woman that's sexy, okay? That's bringing a whole additional level of hotness to the table. Um, and that that's not wrapped up in age. That's wrapped up, in fact, as a woman matures, um, one of the benefits that she has is experience. And one of the benefits that she has is knowing how to read her man and knowing how to bring to the table exactly what he needs at the given moment, okay? Uh, learning what it is that he likes, learning what it is that uh, that makes him happy, n learning what it is that keeps him satisfied. And sometimes it's not necessarily sexual, though that's where it winds up, but it could be simple things. Um, I absolutely love the fact that my woman will serve my meals at the table to me. Uh, she brings me many mornings, if she's up before I am, she will bring a cup of coffee to me in bed so that I can uh, I can lay there and take care of uh, initial things that I've got to take care of on my phone before I dip into the Word, other things I may do. She's gonna, she takes care of and looks out for my needs. She pays attention to what it is that I need in order to make sure that I'm able to accomplish the mission that's in front of me. And that's sexy, that's hot, okay? Uh, that makes her very desirable. Um, not just mentally and emotionally, but physically, okay? So, some things to think about there. The world's opinion of sexiness, the world's opinion of a woman just based on how low cut her, her dress is or how tight her jeans are, doesn't make her sexy. Modesty has a whole lot of sexiness to it, and the sexiness tends to be much more subtle because the man rightly understands the use of the woman what her purpose is, and where part of that purpose is wrapped up in taking care of his physical needs, so much more of that is in taking care of his emotional needs and taking care of the things that he needs in order for him to accomplish his purpose as, uh, as head of family, head of house, and as the one that's doing what the Father's called him to do. So I hope this has stimulated some thought. I really, uh, really hope that uh, for ladies, this will challenge you. Uh, maybe one quick final thought. Let me give you something else here. For single ladies, you know, you listen to all this and go, well, what does that have to do with me? Let me tell you something. The One of the most sexy things uh, with a single woman is keeping yourself pure. Um, if you are a virgin, stay that way. A man values that more than anything, so he doesn't have to undo or un help you un unlearn or fix the spiritual and emotional baggage that comes with having been um, the recipient of DNA from other men. Uh, a lot of that, we, we talked about that in a recent video, that's a good one. If you, uh, if you have already had some of that, stop it. Get yourself cleaned up, stay pure. Make yourself right for one man and then keep it that way, okay? Uh, because that is what you absolutely need. That is, you, you are worth more to a man you are much more valuable to a man having had less interaction with other men than having more. The world values experience. A real man does not. A real man would rather get, give you all the experience that he wants you to have based on his standards and based on his needs and his desires. So there's a tip for particularly the single ladies, okay? So, all right, guys. A few thoughts there for you. I hope that will uh, will stimulate thought, give you something to think about, and give you some particular perspective on your role, especially ladies, your role in the process of helping your man build the kingdom. So, for King and Kingdom, I bid you shalom.